Hello friends, uh, welcome back. So in comment session, I observed a lot of people were asking for uh, keywords uh, that I have been uh, talking about any of the micro niche. And there were a few questions uh, asking me if there are any free keyword tools available to uh, perform the analysis. So I thought I will uh, uh, discuss about a couple of excellent uh, free tools available to perform your keyword analysis. The one reason I why I didn't uh, include the list of keywords in any of my videos is these keywords, uh, the volumes, the data related to keywords keep, will keep changing. So what is uh, the data that is valid today may not be valid after two months. Videos are going to stay there in YouTube for a long period of time. So I don't want people who watch the video after a few months uh, will use that data and then uh, get misguided. That's the whole reason. Okay. So uh, irrespective of that, uh, if you are a beginner, if you are starting something now or uh, have plans to start in next few days, uh, these free tools are good enough for you to start your journey and later point of time you can very well go ahead and uh, uh, purchase some of the paid tools. The first tool that I am going to talk about is uh, something called WMS Everywhere. Okay, there is, this is an extension. You just type for this uh, in Google, then you will find the first result as a WMS Everywhere. So uh, just go for uh, that particular uh, uh, extension and you can see something like this. So if I already uh, installed it, otherwise you will get a button instead of remove from Chrome, you will uh, get something like add to Chrome. Once you add it, it will install. Uh, then it first time when you are trying to use it, it will ask for a sign up, free sign up, just uh, go for it. And then if you want to upgrade, there is some $5 plan is there, which is not required at all uh, at this moment. Free tool is more than enough. This is basically free tool. I didn't uh, pay for it. I just um, uh, downloaded using uh, this and then uh, added to my Chrome and activated it. While activating, it asked me to sign up. I just signed up and uh, signed in. That's about it. Okay. Now, how to use this is, is uh, I will show you one small example and again, we'll come back to this uh, uh, in a while. So if you type any of the keyword, so we are typically exploring for all these examples that natural beat you, right? So let's take some example, uh, how to get hair color naturally. Let me type this. Okay, now you can see here. So what this does is uh, for this particular search term, so what is the volume and what is the CPC? But most importantly, you can see the relevant keywords also here. So what are all the relevant keywords associated with this particular uh, the query that we typed here? So there are these, all these are basically the relevant uh, keywords. So best natural hair dye natural hair dye for gray hair it has a 590 c390 so for each of it it is giving a cpc cpc stands for cost per click typically if uh, cpc is high that means your the earning potential will be high if you go ahead and uh, um, rank for that particular uh, keyword uh, that's what it means but this will give an indication of what are all the relevant keywords you can see for one set here and you can also see uh, some some more keywords here all these are relevant to the query that you already typed okay typically in ahrefs what we do once we type it you get a lot of queries and you do filter and all that here you do not have an option to filter but you can very well manually go ahead and look for almost uh, nearly um, almost nearly 30 40 keywords are there for uh, when you type for one query then you can actually go for uh, something else if uh, there is any uh, let's look at uh, how to cover uh, gray hair with dye let's see if something comes up no for this i think uh, so what, for this alone um, there is a okay you can see some of the queries here uh, the volume is 260 and the cpc is 1.44 dollars and you can see all the relevant keywords here for this keyword itself the volume is uh, 260 and you can see all the relevant keywords here uh, best way to cover uh, gray and dark hair so you can 
so this also gives an opportunity for you to pick longer uh, long tail keywords associated with the main keyword that you are looking for this is this is excellent tool so basically there was a tool something called keyword um, anywhere earlier uh, it used to be free for forming the same uh, functionality but now uh, that has become paid uh, but not so costly i use it i will uh, create one more video probably in next uh, couple of weeks to talk about that particular tool very useful if you are little budget you can go for it but for now today we will focus only on the free tools this is absolutely free uh, no need to even go for your upgraded plan to start with and it gives excellent um, the data that is required to start a, a new blog or to write pick up some topic this is good enough so you can very well pick up one of the to topics which has a decent search volume and also uh, good CPC and then uh, go and search in other tools to see the competition and all that okay now the other second tool that I was talking about so in this combination you can actually go for the other tool so other tool I was talking about is uber suggest so here it is this is the tool so the this used to be earlier free but now this is paid now but uh, even though it is paid uh, you can still use this for free with about daily limitation of about 20 queries that means in a day you can search for about 20 queries to my knowledge beyond 20 it has a limitation uh, next day you can search for another 20 queries that's why i act initially showed you this particular uh, tool and then in combination of these two you will be able to manage uh, if you are starting something today okay now how this will work this works in two ways one is uh, it gives you the the details of uh, uh, your uh, the uh, any of the website or blog uh, typically we do uh, the analysis of the domain uh, when we select uh, any of that micro niche right so you can actually do that analysis as well in this and also you can check the the, the keywords that you potentially uh, looking for so let's look at the first domain analysis so this is the one of the uh, domain we picked up as a reference block for natural beauty micro niche I, just for the continuity i'm picking up the same thing uh, key in the domain here and look for the details so just see the details uh, it will give you all the key uh, details that are required for that particular domain uh, just a second so here so as i said uh, don't compare uh, exactly don't at least expect that exactly same score will be there in that particular ahrefs when we check the uh, dr were about uh, i guess about 10 or so for this domain this is a 15 still it is not very high relatively uh, still there will be a little bit of a difference if you go and uh, look for in another tool like a moz or uh, SM, SEMrush, you may get a different one but again relatively those are all will be low only so this is how it is and the monthly traffic and all that is there so uh, you can by looking this you can make out yeah this is not a very uh, high competitive uh, or highly matured or branded website you can still go for it this is one way of looking at it if you want to analyze the domain and second most important thing is if you want to uh, check what are all the keywords for which this particular domain is ranking for here are the list of keywords for which uh, pages for which this is ranking for and you can also check all the keywords for which this particular domain is ranking for you can do all kind of analysis for this particular domain now the other uh, important thing is so once you uh, filter out some of the keywords using your uh, wms uh, uh, extension for example for this particular keyword you want to check out uh, the hot how is the competition then straight away go here and key in your keyword and search for the details now this will indi indicate uh, what is the difficulty so the most important parameter you need to look for is seo difficulty seo difficulty in the sense organically how difficult for this particular keyword to rank it says that is statistics is, is average i don't call it as a very highly competitive neither very low uh, we can follow the same concept like a, in hrefs i used to suggest you to go for the keyword difficulty less than 20 uh, this particular tool probably you can go maybe a 25 30 uh, but beyond that it may be slightly difficult so what you can do this particular keyword is 36 so let's pick another long tail keyword probably let's look at uh, uh, let's pick uh, this and see how much is the competition uh, check it out hair dye that targets only gray hair hopefully the competition should be low for this 
but just I'm just guessing. So let's wait for the data to come up, and then you can uh, take a call on that. Okay, here it is. Um, again, this is also okay. It's still taking time here, but it's already appeared here. Hair dye that targets only for gray hair. Again, 36 is there. SEO difficulty is 36. But once again, uh, one more advantage with this particular tool also is when you go down, the other it also gives you other ideas. For example, okay, now go for the other ideas. Click on it. So here are the two ideas. It, it already popped up. One is there is something called hair color that targets only gray. Slight difference between these two, but if you see here, the SD is nothing but uh, the SEO difficulty. It's only 21. Okay, now pick up this particular keyword and it will show you um, some more details like uh, uh, how many tentatively backlinks you may need and uh, what are all the sites that are um, ranking for this particular key uh, keyword and those details. So let's. Uh, so here are the the sites that's actually ranking for uh, this particular uh, keyword, and you can see here some of the keywords. Again, this is the limitation. He is not showing the tool is not showing all the domains that are for particular uh, keyword, uh, but um, at least you can get an indication. Okay what how how many links you need for example if you see this one you need about it, it has only about one link for this but this, this all will give some indication but mainly you check here um, if you go back right so it, it gives you uh, here itself it gives you an indication how whether it is a difficult or not so the keyword that we look for is uh, this particular keyword pick it up and uh, and then type it here and search for that particular keyword okay uh, go back and uh, okay let's look at uh, let's search here and uh, see the data it will actually tell you okay now if you see here right SEO difficulty is it, it, that itself indicates easy 21 and also it says about uh, to come in top 10 results it, you need about just about a uh, 10 backlinks um, and domain scale it say he says 79 but you, so not necessarily these are all like a, an average number after estimating uh, looking at the other results and all that so but anyway so uh, what I wanted to convey is using this free tool you can get all these uh, data points now uh, it is later there is a manual process involved even in Ahrefs also I used to uh, do a lot of uh, uh, malleable analysis, analysis to check it out exactly um, the 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 perfect keyword that can rank well. So you will have to do the same thing here as well. So pick up uh, the keywords that uh, you searched here. Where did we search? Here it is, right? So you have so many keywords here already. So you need to manually uh, take a shot, check out some of the keywords and go over here and see how the competition is, how the SEO difficulty is, what kind of websites are ranking for that particular keyword. Look for all those things and then make a call which is slightly uh, easier. So my uh, approach would be normally, I I do I also do all these analysis uh, in a, even though through Ahrefs once I pick up at about a, for one topic at about maybe uh, 20 30 keywords I manually go prepare a spreadsheet and uh, put down all this data so here is what I normally follow once I put it here uh, in any of the tool first I look for the uh, um, search SEO difficulty or in Ahrefs it is called keyword difficulty once it is less then I I look at who are all the play, um, the websites which are all the websites appearing on top and if I find any of the websites uh, with a domain uh, rating uh, uh, less than uh, about maybe 20 in top 10 results uh, then I pick it up and then analyze data and come up with the superior content so the, you need to follow the process anyway but these two free tools will help you to come up with those uh, the set of keywords uh, for which you can go ahead and uh, um, produce quality content and you can very well uh, outrank the other websites that are already ranking Okay, that's all for today. Hope uh, you found this uh, useful. Thank you very much once again for your time. Bye.